So let's talk about threesomes. Well, see, the dirty truth is that, see, threesomes sound like a lot of fun. Oh yeah, I mean, you think to yourself like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm like in bed with these like two hot, you know, 18, 20 year old girls, right? And they got, you know, great ass, great tits, and I'm just fucking their brains out. It's just so much fun, right? I mean, like the fantasy sounds really, really terrific. Um, but the truth, oh, not quite. Now, I'm not gonna go into the details, the specifics of the threesomes I participated in, okay? I, I'm not gonna talk about the details, but, but, okay? Um, I can say a few things about it, and for the most part, it's not as exciting as it sounds. It's a lot more tense for the guy than you can imagine. And there is the distinct possibility that one or even both of the girls freak out in the middle of the threesome and it's just like some fucking disaster, okay? I mean, I've talked to several guys about this issue, guys that I know for a fact were involved in threesomes, not guys who talked about it, okay? And the fact of the matter is, it's not, uh, you know, roses and cream and shit like that. No, it's, uh... Well, okay, let me talk about it. See, now, before I get started, I assume that we're talking about like an amateur threesome, not a professional threesome, i.e. prostitutes, right? No, no, we're talking about, you know, two just run-of-the-mill girls, non-prostitutes, and you having a threesome, okay? Because see, prostitutes, they're prostitutes. They're just gonna fuck whomever is in front of them. Is You know, they're not gonna complain. They're not gonna bitch and moan about it, right? Uh, at most, they'll give you a long face about it, but uh, you know, they'll get the job done. They'll fuck both people or, or whomever or however the arrangement is, and you know, that's that. No, I'm talking about amateur, an amateur threesome, okay? All kinds of problems can emerge. Now, first off, let's take the event itself. The, the fact of the matter is that as a guy, you're gonna be really stressed out, okay? When you're actually fucking two girls, you're gonna be surprisingly stressed out because it, it is gonna be like, on the one hand, like the fulfillment of all your fantasies, but on the other hand, you're going to have a great deal of, of anxiety because you're gonna have to bang two girls in, in one go. And what happens, well, I'm, I'm not gonna, you know, lie about my own case, is that, see, I was so anxious about, you know, performing well with, uh, in one of the threesomes that I participated in, that to tell you the truth, I didn't enjoy myself. It was, uh, it was, it felt like work. Yeah, because I was so worried about, you know, performing to the best of my ability, wink, wink, if you know what I mean, that, you know, I, I couldn't just relax and enjoy the encounter. No, no, I was like stressed out. And it was not fun for me, you know? And even in the down times, if you will, when the women were doing whatever to each other, I was thinking, okay, you know, it's gonna be like a few more minutes and then, you know, my dick better be like rock hard so I can fuck whichever one of these girls I have to fuck now, you know? I mean, I was stressed the, the first time I did it and it was not that much fun. Now, the second time I had a threesome, it was less because I sort of like knew and also I was a little bit older and I had a lot more experience, sexual experience, and so I was a lot more mellow. But again, you know, as the guy, you have to perform, perform well, be, you know, good at sex with two women at one go. It can put an awful lot of pressure. And if you're a guy whose dick goes soft uh, when you're anxious or stressed out, don't do a threesome. You're not going to enjoy it. You're going to have a, a soft off and you're going to feel embarrassed and humiliated. It's going to be a fucking disaster, okay? I mean, you got to know yourself, okay? Because this kind of shit can happen. I've talked to other guys about it. Same thing. They all felt anxious. Anxious and stressed out. It was not as much fun as they thought, at least. Uh -uh. I thought it was going to be fucking terrific and it happened and anxiety city. You know what I mean? Now, if you're with two girls, right? See, one of these girls is gonna be into it and the other is not gonna be that into it. And she's just gonna, gonna kinda be going along with it, okay? Now, this is the girl you gotta watch out for because the girl who's, the one girl who's really into it, who really wants to explore a threesome, right? You know, you don't have to worry about her. 
she's gonna be like a fucking bunny, right? Fucking you and fucking her and just, you know, just having a lot of sex, right? It's the one who's sort of like, you know, sort of semi-semi, right? It could be that both girls are pretty much into it. One, a little bit more than the other, because that's normal. I mean, no three people are gonna be that into sex at an equal level. There's always gonna be a slight imbalance, right? But if one of the girls, the one who is not that into it, is really not that into it, you are going to have to spend a lot of time reassuring her and you better make sure that the other girl realizes that you both have to reassure this one who's like, you know, teetering, right? And this is the problem because see, most girls, when they make up their minds that they want to have sex, they assume that the other partner, the guy, also wants to have sex, which is true. But see, a woman who's never participated in a threesome, right? She is going to be a... Uh, uh, oblivious to the girl who's ambivalent. She's gonna be like, I don't know. The girl who's ambivalent might well just freak out in the very middle of the situation. Now that's never happened to me, thank God. But I know of a guy that it did happen to. And he told me in like some detail <laughs> and it was not fucking fun. Yeah, it was his girlfriend. It was his girlfriend and she was sort of like ambivalent about it and she was going along because he foolishly had been pushing it because he thought it'd be a cool fantasy and all the rest of it, right? And well, it actually happened and the girl they brought in was all into it, but the girlfriend wasn't. She freaked out, she left the whole scene and you know, didn't talk to him for like two days and it was a crimp in their relationship. They eventually broke up as a matter of fact, right? But uh, I mean, eventually like a few months later, but. The point remains, see, if the women are not 100%, you got to be careful. If there is a one woman who's ambivalent about it, you got to be extra careful and extra reassuring to her or else it's going to cause a lot of fucking damage. Now, this brings me to the next point, you know, I mean, like, how is this, you know, threesome happening? Do you have a girlfriend and you're bringing an extra? Or is it that you know these two girls are strangers, or are these two girls lesbians and they're inviting you along? Okay. Now the the lesbians inviting a guy in that's uh, rare as unicorns. Okay. I mean that in porn movies it happens all the time. In real life it doesn't fucking happen. Yeah. Because what happens is that see if a lesbian wants dick, her partner doesn't necessarily want to dick around. Okay. And so the lesbian she's going to go off on the sly on the down low and find herself some dick and her lesbian partner won't be the wiser, right? It is very, very rare, exceptionally rare, vanishingly rare for two lesbians who are happily together to both decide, hey, you know, wouldn't it be great if this weekend we had some dick? That doesn't happen, okay? So more likely than not, it's you have some girl, some steady girl, a friends with benefits, a girlfriend or a wife or whatever the fuck, right? I mean, everything from very casual to very serious. And you two together bring on another girl. That's the typical situation in a threesome. Now, the thing is, see, the more casual your relationship with the girl that is with you and you bring on the third, right? Uh, the more casual that relationship is, the more likely she'll be fully on board, okay? And the more serious the relationship, the more into getting like a, like, like a serious girlfriend or a wife, the more the woman might be just going along to make you happy, okay? And what will happen, what might happen is of course, what I described previously where she's sort of like going along to make you happy and then you know the actual moment arrives and you're actually all naked and fucking, right? And she freaks the fuck out. Yeah, and so you got to be very careful. It's better, in my experience, it's better to be with a girl that's just a fuck buddy, you know? Just a fuck buddy and, and you know, the, the one time I had sex, uh, a threesome, not too long ago, it was in 2017, uh, it was with this girl, I really liked her. She was just a straight up fuck buddy. Just a girl that I liked a lot, that she was, you know, just a great, wonderful, gorgeous girl that I'd never want to have any kind of serious relationship with, right? But she was just a fuck buddy and she was, she looked at sex like a competitive sport almost. And she was happy to bring on another girl in. And we, had, we fucked like rabbits and it was perfectly fun and stress-free and just, just a lot of fucking fun. 
with this fuck buddy. That's what I recommend. Go with a fuck buddy. Don't expose a serious relationship that you have to, to the potential damages of a threesome. Yeah, because see, you can cause a lot of damage to your relationship, like the, the case I described before. But think about it, see? Women are compliant creatures. They want to please you, right? And so uh, you're with some woman for a while. And the sex is a little bit boring because it's, you know, sex eventually gets boring. It's perfectly normal. It, it, gets, it gets to be the same every time, right? And the woman is going to realize this, your woman, and she might suggest a threesome because figuring that she'll make you happy because she feels insecure about the fact that the sex has become so vanilla, so predictable and normal and, you know, uh, you know, that every time it's the same thing because that happens. In every relationship, you know, you fuck somebody long enough, eventually it just becomes not rote, but it becomes the same thing over and over again. And so the girl will be anxious, your girl, your woman will get, become anxious and she might suggest a threesome. Now, my suggestion my thoughts is if this happens you gotta ignore it you gotta say oh well don't be silly okay because most of the times these suggestions that she's making she is making them out of insecurity sexual insecurity she is worried that the sex is not that exciting for you and that you might leave her that's why she's recommending this or suggesting this She's worried that you're going to leave her for somebody else, and so she figures that she'll get ahead of this problem by being the one to suggest bringing in uh, another girl and making a threesome, right? And so there you have to gauge what you want out of this relationship. And the smart thing is to blow off her suggestion and instead just reassure her that you're happy with the sex that you guys have. That's a smart thing. Now, it could be, of course, that your girlfriend is genuinely curious about having sex with a woman, right? I mean, you got to figure that out too. You got to ask her. You got to figure out and maybe she's feeling insecure about your sex life or maybe she truly wants to try pussy. See what's uh, what's the big deal. And you got to figure that out. Now, figure that out and uh and if she wants to uh, try out having sex with a woman and she wants to like explore her sexuality or some shit like that well go ahead do it uh, see what happens okay now do women you know usually they they have sex with another woman and then all of a sudden become lesbians and leave the guy no that never happens uh, it's exceptionally rare okay especially in this day and age where, where everybody's sort of like encouraged to experiment with their sexuality you know, girls have had the chance to have sex before. If they were really lesbians, they'd be lesbians, okay? A lot of times, a girl who's in a relationship, what's going on is that, see, she might be sexually restless, but she doesn't want to get rid of you, okay? She might just be just sexually restless. I mean, that's the best way to exp express it. And she's thinking to herself, you know, wouldn't it be great to, like, you know, try something a little bit different. Oh, you know, I know, have sex with a girl. You know, oh, my boyfriend Johnny will be happy to join us. And so, yeah, and yeah, that's what's going on, okay? A lot of times. Uh, so don't necessarily worry about it, but, but it could be that what's really going on is that she's getting sexually bored with you, right? Bored with you sexually and in the relationship generally. And so she wants to, you know, experiment with the threesome as a stepping stone to experimenting with an open relationship, okay? Now, the second she says that she wants to experiment with an open relationship, you end the relationship, right then and there. You say, no, I'm not interested in, uh, uh, you know, having a relationship with a whore, and fuck it, that's it. You want to have sex with another guy? Then go ahead, go out, and, you know, when you come back, I'll be gone. You make that absolutely fucking clear, okay? I mean, you, you gotta mark your territory, okay? See, but a lot of times that's the dynamic that's going on. The, the girl is thinking to herself, well, we'll try a threesome first and then an open relationship. And what's really going on is that she wants to exit the relationship with you, but doesn't really know how to do it. More likely than not, it's not that you're doing anything wrong, it's that for some reason she has convinced herself that she should explore her sexuality and 
fuck other people, right? And that's what's going on. And you're just going to be the casualty of this situation. Yeah. But look, if it goes like threesome first, she suggests the threesome first, and then it's like an open, um, an open relationship, buddy, your relationship is just not going to last. So you should be thinking of exiting the relationship if that's the steps that are going on. But to go back to what I said at the beginning, you know, threesomes uh, sound great. They sound terrific. They sound very exciting and all the rest of it. But the reality, it's messier. It's a lot messier. And the fact of the matter is, you know, you've probably seen so many porn movies, right? And you've had some sex, right? And porn, it looks terrific. Sex looks terrific. Very athletic sex. Very vigorous sex. Looks fantastic. But the reality is very, very different, right? Yeah. Same with threesomes. Same with threesomes. Um, like I said, my recommendation is try them out. Try them out with people that you don't really care about, that you don't have any kind of emotional attachment to. You know, Try it out and uh, see if you enjoy it. But realize that uh, threesomes, threesomes never last as relationships, okay? It's just going to be the one night. Mm -hmm. So just enjoy it and uh, think nothing of it.